Okay, whenever installing the seat lift brackets, if you have an air ratchet or a ratchet with an extension, uh, what really makes things a lot easier is to pre-install your bolt in here, get it started, and instead of using a ratchet, which is almost impossible to get in here, you'd have to use a, a box end wrench. Instead, you can take your socket, install the socket on the head first, and then right through the top, we have an opening where you can put your extension through, click it, lock it in, and then tighten it down. And then pull your extension, socket comes out. You're going to do the same thing on all eight brackets. Uh, you're going to have the opening of the brackets facing into the middle of the seats. Repeat it eight times, put your seat on top and bolt your seat down, real simple. What we're going to be doing now is once you've put the steel brackets down to the, uh, to the floor of the Jeep, we're going to be reinstalling the back seat. Simply place it on top of the brackets the metal pin that is on the bottom is going to go into the rear hole of the bracket. It's going to leave the front hole open for the bolt. Uh, what we found was is actually now we go to install this hardware. If we try to put the bolt from the top, it's rather difficult to hold a fender washer, a lock washer, and the nut with gravity fighting against you. So instead, it's easier to drop the washer onto the uh, onto the bolt. Instead, come from the bottom. That way, gravity will work with you with the final parts, which would be your washer, a lock washer, and the nut on top. And th that stacking method works especially well in the back where it's a little more difficult to get to. And what we're gonna do is put the wa uh, washer on the bolt first, and from the bottom, press it up, and then do the same thing. We're gonna put a fender washer, a split lock washer and the nut on top again once you get all four of these bolts in here finger tight make sure your seat is squared up the way it needs to be take your wrenches and lock it down and at that point you're going to repeat this on both seats and your installation is complete mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to be installing the rear uh, rear wall adapter brackets. We're going to use one M12 bolt, a washer. We're going to put it through the plate. Take the adapter bracket, put it from the bottom, and then the plate from the top. We're going to feed this through just like this. Put another washer. Then a lock, uh, lock washer, then the nut on the bottom, snug it up by hand, make sure we're good and square, either going to use a 19 millimeter or 3 quarter inch wrenches, put one on the top, and one on the bottom, and tighten it down. And that is it.